on July 30th, 2022, the music world, along with its fans, celebrated the 86th birthday of one of the most influential blues musicians to ever have picked up a guitar. He's won eight Grammys, 23 W.C. Handy Awards, and has been an influence on such legends as Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, Keith Richards, and Steve Ray Vaughan. He's also worked with such legends as Muddy Waters as his guitar sessions guitarist and had a successful working partnership with the legendary harp player Junior Wells. Junior Wells, by the way, is also known for discovering the uh, modern-day great guitarist and singer-songwriter Albert Castilla. Um, the man that I'm talking about is the none other than George Buddy Guy. Buddy Guy is uh, one of my favorite musicians, and I've been fortunate to see him on a number of occasions, and I hope to get to see him again in the future. I put together a list of 10 songs that I think are a must-listen to for anyone wanting to learn more about Buddy Guy. And uh, without any further delay, let's uh, go through the list. Coming in at number 10 is a song off of his 2015 release called Born to Play Guitar. And this is the title track to the album. And it's, I think it's autobiographical in a sense where he tells his story, a quick, a brief story, if you will, on his upbringing and his um, life in Louisiana and making it to Chicago. Uh, Coming in at number nine is a song that really steals the show. And it's a song that he will usually play towards the end of a show or as an encore, and it's called Someone Else is Stepping In. This is off of his 1994 release, Slipping In. This song is just a classic blues number and really gets the fans up off their, up onto their feet and uh, out of their seats whenever he plays it. And it's just a classic blues, blues rock type of a song that everybody loves. I don't think I've met anybody who says they don't like it. Coming in at number eight is a song called First Time I Met the Blues. And this is on an album called I was walking through the woods, and this came out in 1970. This is a great tune. I think everybody can relate to it. We've all had our paths crossed at blues before, and um, I think this really categorizes how people feel, uh, characterizes how people feel when um, they are feeling down in the dumps, and um, it's just a great tune to uh, wash the blues away. Number seven is a song um, that came out in 1968, and it is entitled A Man in the Blues. This is a, um, has a hypnotic kind of a walking bass to it. Uh, It's a smooth blues tune and really, I think, will mellow you out. And it's just a great tune to sit back and um, reflect and relax while listening to it. Coming in at number six, is a classic tune that has been covered from such musicians as Elvis and originally by Big Mama Thornton. And this is a duet that he did with uh, one of his uh, close working partners in Junior Wells, and it's called Hound Dog. It's a great duet by the two of them, and it's one of my favorite covers of the song, and that's why um, I put it at number six. Coming in at number five is a song that I think, if there's a blues national anthem, I think it would be this song. It's a, a song that came off of the uh, album The Blues is Alive and Well, and that was his 18th album, and it was released in 2018. And it is the title track, The Blues is Alive and Well. The song, I think, is a testimony to all the new musicians in the blues world, the ones who have made a name for themselves, like Mike Zito and... Joanne Shaw Taylor, from Samantha Fish to Shamika Copeland, and all the up and coming stars, such as ones that I mentioned earlier, Quinn Sullivan and uh, Kingfish Ingram, who is now, I think, the torchbearer for the next generation of blues. Uh, this is just a fantastic song, and um, it's one of my favorites. 
Coming in at number five, number four, speaking of Chris Stone Kingfish Ingram, this is not a Buddy Guy song, but he did, like I said, lent his skills to Chris Stone Kingfish Ingram's debut album called Kingfish, and it's a song called Fresh Out. This is just a dynamite blues tune, and I think it solidifies um, Chris Stone Kingfish Ingram's place in the blues world. And it's nice to hear Buddy Guy playing along with him as the second guitar on his song. For the last three songs on here, it took a while to narrow it down and decide which ones I wanted to put on here for the top three songs. Coming in at number three, and this is one that you can't leave off the list when you're talking about Buddy Guy and Chicago Blues, and it is Sweet Home Chicago. No one does this song better than Buddy Guy, and... It's just a classic blues tune that everybody knows and loves. But I do think Buddy Guy owns the song. Coming in at number two is another classic Buddy Guy tune that I think is one that sounds great when it's played live. And it's called Damn Right I've Got the Blues. And this this song is just a song that will knock your socks off. And I think everyone can uh, relate to this song and I believe it's uh, one of his uh, signature tunes. And um, again, it's one that nobody says they don't like it because we've all been there before and said we've got the blues and um, it's just a classic blues tune. There's no other way to describe it. Coming in at number one, speaking of classic blues tunes, this is another song that's a favorite of mine. I've heard The Doors cover it and many other musicians and this is an original John Lee Hooker tune who is also a favorite of mine and is called Crawling King Snake. I think Buddy Guy just hits a home run with this and it is an amazing tune and one that I never get tired of hearing. And it doesn't matter who's covering it but Buddy Guy really just nails it on here and that's why it's coming at number one. So there are 10 songs from Buddy Guy that I think are just legendary tunes and ones that I think should be listened to. Uh, if you're wondering what songs to check out for his, I hope you like the video and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.